Our new idiom for today is de facto. What does that mean? De facto. Kyo no atarashi juku go wa de facto desu. Sore wa doyu imi desu ka? De facto means existing in fact or reality. Currently, the reality is. Currently, the fact is. Although not necessarily intended, there's no plan to do that. It just happened. This is just the current situation, the current fact, or the actual situation that's happening right now. There was no intent to make it that way, but this is the current fact. This is the actual situation. Accepted, actually. De facto wa nihongo de yu to jijitsu jo. Sono tsumori wa nakatte kedo jisai ni aru. Looking at some examples for de facto, she is his de facto wife. They're not actually married, there was no wedding. They haven't registered their marriage with the government. But since they've been living together for more than six months, they became husband and wife. Depending on the laws in your country, if a man and woman live together for a period of time, they become de facto, de facto, husband and wife. Looking at number two, English is the de facto common language in most of the world. In many places, English is the common language. It wasn't intended to be that way. However, due to lots of business being done in English, in many countries, English is the de facto language. Looking at number three, he is the de facto leader of the company. In this company, there have been no legal documents stating that he is the leader of the company. However, due to his responsibilities and what he does in the company, he's generally seen, or he, he is actually the leader of the company. He makes all the big decisions in the company. But there are no legal documents. They have not stated that he is the leader. But the current situation shows us that he is the leader of the company. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.